So I wanted to go over what cavities are today. Also, for those of you that don't know what these are, these are called loops. And if you look in here, hopefully you can see my eyeballs. They make the magnification a lot closer. So if a dentist isn't wearing this, chances are they're seeing exactly what you're seeing. And frankly, you don't want that. You want people to be looking a little bit closer so that they have those millimeters to save of your teeth, okay? So basically cavities, as you can see, I actually have a little guy right here. Is that zoomed in? And so what a cavity is, is the surface of a tooth has been invaded, okay? Now, how do we get cavities? And also cavities, the other name for cavities is caries. That's the clinical name for cavities. When dentists are saying caries, and when they're saying all these like letters like D, O, B, L, M. These are all surfaces of the tooth and it's all oriented front to back. There's another video that I'll make about that in particular, but I just wanted to give you the bare basics of what a cavity is. So um, basically I'm gonna turn this camera around here. I'm gonna show you, okay, so you have a healthy tooth here, okay? And what happens is when there's a, a bunch of acidity or there's bacteria that are in this like little pocket over here, right, they end up sitting there, produce so much acid in this one area that it actually breaks down the outer layer of enamel, okay? And the outer layer of enamel, uh, considering this picture is actually a little bit thicker than this, uh, usually I'll show you some radiographs as well, but basically the outer layer of enamel, when it's infiltrated, this inner layer right here, this, this stuff is called dentin, okay? And dentin really is super, super sensitive. It's a lot squishier than enamel, um, not a lot. I mean, if you touch it, it's still hard, but it's definitely not nearly as hard as the outer layer, the shield layer of your tooth. But when, when a cavity gets in there, then it starts really growing. And you see how this is like kind of a small entry, but then it gets larger here. That's the classic triangle, the black triangle that you're see, you'll see on a radiograph when a cavity is starting to get a little bit deeper into that dental layer. When it gets to this point, not even when it's touching the pulp, really when it gets to this point, this is when your tooth starts experiencing sensitivity. And this is really the start of something that you need to get resolved by your dentist. Ideally, we catch it when it's just in the enamel layer. And oftentimes it happens in between teeth too. I'll show you a couple pictures I'll go through. Um, but when it gets finally down and it goes deep enough into the dentin, then it gets to the pulp. And then you're in kind of, you're kind of in an issue zone here, okay? When it gets to the pulp layer, now the pulp is the super sensitive part of uh, a tooth, okay? So what you wanna understand about the cavity getting to this point is you're going to have either one of two options at this point. Either, either the, the restorative dentist, the general dentist or whoever's doing your cavity will try to go in here, take out all this decay and see how close it is to your nerve. If it hasn't quite hit it, right they're going to go in there and they're going to put a liner right over here a liner is a desensitizing agent when they put that liner in there's a chance that this this pulp itself is actually going to recede backwards and this dentin is going to start building up in between that liner and that pulp and there's a chance that your tooth will be just fine over time however in this situation as you can see the cavity has gone all the way down into the nerve tissue when it gets that you can't really just take this out you'll probably have to do a root canal procedure i'll show you that root canal procedure later but you'll have to do a root canal procedure if you want to save the tooth or the tooth is going to have to come out in extraction they call it which is pulling a tooth in normal lay layman's terms um, and when when you get to that point uh really you're going to experience a lot of pain this is going to be keeping you up at night so the bacteria is going to come and invade all of this pulp and it's going to start eating all this stuff away. And at some point it'll eat all of it away and you'll lose nerve sensation. You'll be like, okay, well, I was in a lot of pain for like a couple weeks and then a pain went away all together. I must be okay. Well, that, what that really means is that all of this tissue has been invaded by bacteria eaten away. And then right down here on the radiographs, you'll see a darkness or right down here, you'll see a darkness. And when the bacteria starts getting there and starts eating your bone structure, and your nerves over there, then the pain picks up again, and you have a big thing called an abscess. So let me see if I can find some pictures here. Okay, this is what teeth would look like that are progressing in those stages. This darkness kind of is representation of a cavity starting to happen. 
okay it starts getting a lot this is a pretty deep one and here as you can see it's definitely in via that root chamber so this is another depiction of the exact same image that we just saw okay it gets over here get that triangle and then you get another triangle here and it starts invading your dent and you get that sensitivity and then you get if you don't take care of it uh, you'll start getting a lot a lot bigger and this whole thing is going to be messed up here's another picture okay there's a healthy tooth here a healthy tooth here with the enamel elevator dent in here pulp tissue and then you'll have deep deep caries and then pulpitis which means itis itis is inflammation okay uh, this is not quite accurate periodontitis does not have anything to do with cavities periodontitis has to do with the gum tissue around here okay so okay so so there's and then here also this is another really good picture so it, you know you can get it on the on the head here or and look this is the abscess that I was talking about that means that it went through invaded that root canal chamber and it went all the way through and you got yourself an abscess a lot of pain okay right there is a depiction of what I was talking about so over here in between two teeth are where cavities happen most often and it's because people are not getting that food out okay so oftentimes what I see in radiographs is that the cavity will go and invade the pulp chamber sideways from here when the well this is a sideways view but really from here in okay so that's that's what a cavity is guys you know at the end of the day it's just it's just acidity that leads to a situation where you kind of have uh, demineralization of the outside the protective shield layer gets into the dentin and then you know if you don't take care of it, it starts causing you a lot of pain keeps you up at night so I want you guys really to take care of these things you know before before they start and that's why I'm making these videos and if you have any questions post them in the comments below if you have Medicaid you're in Ohio I'm Dr. Tara Bry from Franklin Dental Care and Dentures we're one of the few providers of care source where you can get seen within a week within two weeks if uh, if you just hit us up give us a call and uh, I look forward to talking to you, okay? Take care of yourself. Have a beautiful day. Ciao.